Oh my gosh. So I got this new rig, got a new camera, got a new, uh, what's it called? Shotgun mic on my camera. It's all, all new experience, working great. And so I recorded the intro and I recorded the whole like first half hour of the project and the entire time the microphone wasn't on. <laughs> so it's like, dang it. Ah! We gotta do it all over again. So here we go, here comes the intro. Welcome to the studio, guys. Welcome back. We're gonna do a cool project today. Um, I gotta stop looking at the viewfinder. So today we're making um, DML speakers. Is that what they're called? Yeah, DML speakers. Give me a second. Most of the research that I did for this project was from Tech Ingredients. Um, he's a super smart guy that does a whole bunch of deep dives into the anatomy of the sound that the speaker's producing and he really breaks it down, makes a whole bunch of different panels and tests each one individually and finds out the best configuration. And so definitely check out his channel if you want to find out the kind of nitty gritty of what these speakers can do. Um, but for me, we're just gonna run through it and kind of give you a parts list of what you need to build this yourself. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, we're on the floor today because my desk isn't big enough. I'm limited on space. So the first thing you need is this one inch thick pink insulation from the hardware store. Um, you can buy a little two foot by two foot piece like this um, from Owens Corning. doesn't really matter the brand. There's half inch pieces, there's one inch, and then there's also a three inch option. So if you wanna go crazy and try and test all those options. Now most of you don't have a table saw, which is fine, but I find that um, a table saw will give you, or even a circular saw, if you can cut straight, um, will give you a really nice finish on the edge. So like this edge I cut with a table saw, because this was a big four by eight panel that I broke down. Um, this is the factory edge, and this, if you can, I don't know if that's gonna show up, this is the edge I cut with a not so new razor blade. <laughs> so you get a lot of pilling and uh, it's not so great, but you can cut it this way and then just sand it down. So it's not that big a deal. So the two by two is a great option for those with limited space in their space. There's a couple things we need to do to this panel before it's ready for sound. Now, Tech Ingredients uses, a, I think he said a seven inch radius, but I don't have a seven inch round plate and I don't bother to uh, get out my compass and mark it all up. So we're just gonna use a roll of tape. So just find something circular that you can mark the radius of these edges. Now he says that you should have one panel that you leave squared and one panel that you cut the corners off but with speakers, I don't really know nah, the asymmetry of that look, just the aesthetics of it. I mean, I don't really care about the sound too much and being this ultra high quality producing sound. So we're gonna cut the radius on both panels for, for mine. But if you don't mind that they look different, or if you wanna go full out and put, do four speakers, so you have one radius and one squared on both sides of the TV or whatever you're doing. That would look nice. So just get a box knife or whatever you got and you can just slice those corners right off. One of those retractable long blade razor blades would work well for this because the standard box knife isn't deep enough to go all the way through. Uh, well, it's barely, barely long enough. So you just, you know, it's fine. You just hack it up, cut the corner off. You don't have to do a perfect job. Take your time and jack it up all you want. Get that corner cut off and it's pretty rough, but then all you need is a piece of 220 sandpaper. Watch how fast this is. It sands pretty easy.
that was like seven seconds and it's nice and smooth it's not perfectly square this side's a little bit higher than this side but you can take your time and kind of fiddle with it make it perfectly smooth and nice so you do that to all four corners and then the other thing to do is to break this edge just a little bit so just swipe over it with your sandpaper you don't have to put this giant radius on it just just break it just go across it a couple times smooth out that edge and then the last thing to do is on the front what will be the front of your speaker facing out um, tech ingredients suggest that you go over the whole thing and sand the the film that's on there and it kind of it gives it a flat kind of velvety finish I'm not going to do that on mine because I'm painting them with flat paint so it kind of gives it that same final texture I don't know how the weight of the paint or that layer of paint is going to affect the sound we're going to just play with it but I don't want giant panels of pink hanging on my wall not I don't have anything against pink but it just doesn't go with my decor so we're gonna paint them okay so here's my hardware I didn't buy cotter pins for this I just bent a piece of wire basically made my own pins and then shoved them in there with some glue and it worked just fine so we got two of those and then this is uh, artificial cat sinew going all the way up to the ceiling and it's held in with a single drywall screw and a washer. I put a washer on there so that the, the edge of the screw wouldn't cut the, uh, cut the string. So we've got those hung up. So we got it all wired up. Really easy, black to black, red to red, just like you do. This one, uh, we mounted this speaker exciter little thing right in the middle of the panel. So measure up and down, measure side to side, right in the middle. This one is mounted at two-fifths for some reason. I don't know why. You can ask the other guy that he knows. But right there, so it's like right there, which is not in the middle. So all you have to do is measure your panel in like measure it in hands or with your dog's tail or whatever, doesn't matter. Divide that measurement by five and then multiply it by two. And then that's how high up you should come. And then do the same thing with the width. So I came up 23 inches and I went over, uh, what was it, nine inches. So it's right there. And somehow with that one being two fifths and that one being in the middle, the sound it produces kind of balances each other out and it sounds good for some reason. If you do decide to paint your speakers, do not use spray paint. So this is a little corner I sprayed just barely. I barely painted it, which wasn't enough paint. This was a normal amount of paint and I completely melted it. And then over here, I put way too much paint and it completely ate the styrofoam. So you cannot use spray paint on this material. It will not work. You can use regular latex paint like this. This is a bucket of cashews. No, I'm just kidding. This is what I keep my living room paint in. So this is normal latex wall paint. I got it from a thrift store. Actually, it says some cheap off-brand crap. Not even good stuff, but any kind of um, water-based latex paint for the walls will work for this but do not use spray paint the same thing goes for these mounts do not use super glue for these mounts you use a two-part epoxy hot glue elmer's glue something else super glue will melt this stuff just like spray paint does so use anything else you got this is the guts of the operation the fuzzy audio amplifier um, and this one's pretty good because it comes with Bluetooth which most of the modern ones do and then it has an auxiliary in and then speakers out so that auxiliary hooks up to the microphone port on my TV which means that 
you don't need a special remote to control it. The TV volume controls the speakers, which is really nice. And then if you can just Bluetooth your phone to the amplifier, I keep forgetting that word, and listen to music. So you've got that. So you'll need one of those. You'll need about 10 feet of speaker wire, depending on your setup. And you'll need an auxiliary cord. And you'll need a couple of these exciters, depending on what you want, in two or four. Go crazy and get 12 of them, whatever you want. But that's all you need. Super easy. <coughs>